Today, I am going to demonstrate how easy it is to measure a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop using our low cost USB 201 and a resistor as a current shunt. The USB 201 supports 8 single ended analog inputs, 12 bit resolution, 100 kilo samples per second sampling rate, 8 digital I.O. bits, and one 32 bit counter, all for only $99. The 4 to 20 milliamp current loop is a very robust transducer signal standard. Its popularity in transmitting data is based on its intrinsic nature to resist noise. Requests for measuring a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop are very common. However, most analog input DAC devices are voltage centric, so measuring a current loop takes some additional signal conditioning. Now to set up our experiment. We will use the 250 ohm resistor as a current shunt which will give us a 1 to 5 volt drop across the resistor. Now we want to calculate the current based on the known resistor value and the measured voltage. To do this we will use Ohm's law which states that your current is equal to your voltage divided by your resistance. We know our resistor value and our measured voltage values so we can easily calculate the current values. Now when your transducer outputs 4 milliamps, the USB 201 will register 1 volt. And when your transducer outputs 20 milliamps, the USB 201 will register 5 volts. The data in between will be linear throughout the entire range. Next, you want to install the resistor. Insert one lead into the channel 0 terminal and the other lead into the analog ground terminal. Tighten down each screw terminal to form a good electrical connection and place your current source across the resistor leads. Connect your positive lead to the channel zero terminal and your ground or negative lead to the analog ground terminal. For software, we will be using Measurement Computing's newest software application called DACAME. First, you need to select a new configuration. Now under the Options panel, select Manual. Click on the Hardware tab and highlight the USB 201. Drag it onto the Device panel and release. Next, you will need to configure your USB 201. First, you will need to enable the channels you will be using. Today, we'll be using channel 0. You can also set up the acquisition parameters here as well. We will leave it at the default values for this video. Next, you need to select your display. I'm going to use a scalar display. Select the scalar display and drag it onto the worksheet and release. Last, you need to add your channels by selecting the active channel from the device panel and dragging it onto the display. Now all that's left is to start the acquisition. Right now we are displaying the raw voltage measured across the 250 ohm resistor. As I vary the current, you can see the voltage change. At 20 milliamps, I display 5 volts. At 10, I display 2.5. And, and at 4 milliamps, I display 1 volt. We can also scale the data and display it in milliamps. To do this, you need to switch to the configuration panel. Pull down the units menu and select custom. Type in your engineering units, in this case milliamps, and then add your scale factor. Now when we run the acquisition, you will see the milliamp label, and your data will be multiplied by your scale factor, in this case 4. And when I vary the current output, I display in milliamps rather than voltage. Well, that's how easy it is to use a resistor and our USB 201 for measuring a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop with DACAME. Thanks for watching and tune in for more how-to videos from Measurement Computing.